Fallout 1, the first appearances of Vaults, the Brotherhood of Steel, followers of the Apocalypse, and Nuka-Cola, Ghouls, Super Mutant Origins, and so much more. Today we make Fallout 1 faster to load and to play, easier to control and less tedious for the modern gamer. Bugs will be fixed, a high resolution patch applied, cut content restored, and all of this is accomplished with a single mod pack ported to the Fallout 2 game engine. Welcome to Gamer Poets. This list is not exhaustive, but here are some differences between Fallout 1 and 2 and the vanilla game. After a world map encounter, instead of having to re-click your destination, you automatically continue towards it. The ability to highlight items with a key push so you don't miss them. Items don't need to be re-equipped after use. They stay equipped until supplies are depleted. A take-all button for your looting needs. Doors auto-open when passing through them. NPC combat control with a dedicated configuration menu. Trade directly with companions instead of having to steal from them. Caves are actual places on the world map instead of cells that you teleport to. NPCs level up with you. NPCs who trade unique items allow bulk trade instead of one by one. If a creature doesn't drop loot, the option to search it is removed to save time. Move NPCs out of the way by selecting the option to do so. Item Inventories Use the scroll wheel instead of having to click the arrows. Alt-Tab out of the game without crashing. Install both Fallout 1 and 2 from Steam or GOG. Avoid program files. That's it. Open the Fallout 1 and 2 mod page. Scroll to the bottom. Download the latest version. Open the archive. In a second window, open the Fallout 2 game folder. Drag and drop the Fallout 1 and 2 folder inside. Open it. Launch the undat.exe. Select the ellipses to the right of the Fallout 1 directory. Navigate to and open the Fallout 1 game folder. Double click master.dat. Extract. When all files are extracted, done. Still in the 1 and 2 folder, Right-click the Fallout 2 executable. Send the shortcut to desktop. Rename it Fallout 1 in 2 so you know what it is. Any editing needs to be done prior to a new game to assure that they are actually implemented. What I show here are the tweaks that I personally use as well as a few default ones for you to decide if you want to deactivate them. Of course, you can browse through these on your own, but there's a lot. All of my settings are in the description. The ddraw.ini is located in the Fallout 1 and 2 folder. If you can't see the ini extension, watch my modding tips videos. Graphics width and height. If using DX9 in the previous setting, and I recommend you do, set these values to your monitor resolution to fill your screen. World Map Encounter Fix Activated 1 being on, 0 being off For World Map Encounter Chance to be based upon distance traveled instead of speed World Map Encounter Rate Higher values generate less encounters NPC Auto Level Activated by default Makes NPCs level with the player Save in Combat Fix Set to 2 to disallow saving during combat to avoid bugs Display Karma Changes. Enable this so Karma Changes appear in the notification window as they happen. Skip Opening Movies. Set to 2 to be brought directly to the main menu after game launch. I recommend only changing this after you've experienced the intro videos. NPCs try to spend extra AP. If activated, and if NPCs have leftover action points, they will try to find ways to spend them. It may make battles a little more interesting. Remove critical time limits. Activate to start getting criticals right away, instead of waiting for the first few game days to pass. Small frame fix. Set to 1 
to fix the carry weight penalty of the small frame trait not being applied to bonus strength points. Numbers in Dialog Set to 1 to display numbers during dialog. Use number keys to select an option instead of just clicking on them. Clicking still available. World Map Font Patch Set to 1 to use Fallout's normal text on world maps instead of the default DOS-like font. Full Text Description and Barter Set this to 1 so when analyzing an item in the barter window, you get its full description. Party Member Extra Info Set to 1 to display a party member's current level, armor class, and addictions on the combat control panel. The S-Fall Mods Inni is located in the Fallout 1 in 2 folder. Key Set this to 42 to have Shift be the highlight item key. This was the default key in the mod Fallout Fixed. To me, it feels the most comfortable. Containers Set to 1 to highlight containers alongside items. Corpses Set to 1 if you would like to highlight corpses alongside items and or containers. Check LOS On by default Using the Highlight key will only work for items in your line of sight. Set to zero to highlight items everywhere on the map, regardless of player location. The F2 Res Inni is located in the Fallout 1 and 2 folder. NumPath Nodes is set to 1 by default. This setting changes how far your character can path when clicking on the map to move them. 10 works well for me. Alternate Ammo Meter I set this to 2, so the meter changes color based on how much ammo is left in the weapon. The fo1settings.ini is located in Fallout 1 and 2, Open Config. Enable Motorcycle, set this to 1, and a motorcycle will be placed in the game world. Find it and fix it to travel faster. FO2 Party Limit, set to 0, so you can have more companions at one time like the vanilla game. Enable FO2 Critters. I set this to zero to disable geckos and other Fallout 2 critters that aren't in Fallout 1 by default. Enable iBot Hireling. Set this to one to enable a floating New Vegas Eddie-like eye in the glow as a party member. Enable Unlimited HPA. Set to one to enable Miles in Additive to upgrade more than one suit of power armor. Enable Shady Sands Merchant. Set this to 1 to have another person in Shady Sands to trade with. Enable Cut Characters. Set to 1 to enable various characters that were cut from the vanilla game. Fixed Enabled. Set this to 1 to allow Fallout Fixed modules to be activated. Agatha is Enabled. Set to 1 to enable the Cut Historian of Shady Sands. Brotherhood of Steel Lori Charisma Enabled. Set this to 1 so the player can boost Charisma at the Brotherhood of Steel Doctor. BOS Lori Sex Enabled Set this to 1 to enable intimate relationships with Lori, the Brotherhood of Steel Doctor. Enable Hookers Set to 1 to enable Activate Hookers in the hubs downtown. Here's a list of things that I wish I knew when I first started playing. Push F1 to bring up Fallout's quick help window and learn what the keys do. The notification monitor provides everything from battle play-by-play -play to nearby traps and quest completion notifications. Keep an eye on it, both in and out of battle. Inventory, the INV button. Equip items by dragging and dropping them into your hands and armor slot. Right-click an item, left-click the binoculars to inspect it, open hand to use it, Downwards hand to drop. Gun with arrow to unload. Useful before selling an item. Pause menu. Same as pushing the escape key. Map is your map. CHA is your character menu. Use your level up points here. Every three levels, pick a perk. PIP button to open your pit boy. Number of days left to find the water chip. Don't feel rushed. It's plenty of time. Just stay on task. Status the quests that you have accumulated on your journey. They are crossed out when completed. Active item. Click it. Target to use beneficial items on yourself or friends, or to attack and start a fight. These here are your action points. They are used during battle. This number is how much an action costs. Right-click to cycle through selected weapons options, 
Cycling doesn't cost AP. Switching to your offhand using this red button also doesn't cost AP. Opening your inventory during battle, however, does cost. Remember to reload. When your turn is over, leftover action points give a one-turn armor class boost. This makes you more resistant to damage. While cycling through weapon options, this icon represents Fallout 1's version of Vats. Go for the eyes. Holster your weapon while in towns. People may not talk to you, and some may fight you. Either switch to your offhand that doesn't have a weapon, or put it back in your inventory. Hover over things to view names and other information. Select skills from the skill index, then click on targets to use them. A couple examples. Choose science. Click on a computer and you might learn something. Choose repair. Click on objects and you may repair or disable them. Choose lockpick. Click on containers and doors to try to open them. Save often. Actions have consequences. You are going to wish you could redo parts of the game. And finally, there's no wrong way to play. Make mistakes. Fail speech checks. Learn the importance of different perks and skills. Then play again. But most importantly, have fun. Thanks for joining me. Make mistakes. Fail speech checks. And finally, and finally, and finally, and finally, and finally, and finally, I'm going to do it again as well as a few default ones. Go. For you to decide if you want to deactivate them. For you to decide. <sighs> A hernia really hurts. Feels like something else is about to fall out.